schools across the district celebrate Black History Month in many unique ways. This year, there was one historic figure that everyone, including Hollywood, seemed to focus on, East Tech alum and Olympic legend Jesse Owens. The new movie Race, about his quest to become the greatest track and field athlete in history, became a jumping off point for CMSD schools, and a series of very special events unfolded as students learned about his legacy and honored the Olympian. He trained hard to chase his dreams as the whole world watched, yet many people probably don't know his name. I'm talking about Stefan James, the actor who stars as Jesse Owens in the new movie Race. For those 10 seconds, you are completely free. He visited Cleveland School of the Arts ahead of the film's release for a Q&A session that felt like inside the actor's studio. Do you think it is probably you to do greater, like compared to how all the opportunities that we have now, did it inspire you to do greater? And do you think that the movie could inspire others to do the same as well? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, like I said, for me, I, I, I really, you know, it was important to me to get lost in this world and lost in this character. You guys will notice my hairline's a little different than Jesse's. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was funny, huh? I cut my hair like Jesse because I wanted to look in the mirror every day and see Jesse. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to know that I, I didn't want to feel like anybody else. It wasn't about me anymore. You know what I mean? I, want, I was playing him 16, 17 hours a day. Um, you know, and for me, it was very, very important to look and to feel and to be him. It was very important to the story. Um, you know, for me to bring a human aspect to this big hero, this larger than life individual that we always hear so much about. You know, I was very, very inspired by Jesse and his story, and I took it personally to be able to be the vessel that gets to show other kids, you know, younger than me, older than me, uh, you know, athletes, non-athletes, everybody about the type of life he lived. You know, people can look at Jesse and his story and think, you know, if Jesse could do what he did at the time in which he did it, where he did it, then there's really no excuse for anybody in here to accomplish great things. James told the students he trained like a track star for five months, and admittedly, he didn't know that much about Jesse Owens at first, but then he did his research, including spending a lot of time with the Olympians' daughters. I have to pinch myself when I, when I see the posters, when I see the trailers, because, you know, he's really this larger-than-life man, and I can't believe that, you know, this story has landed in my lap 80 years later and that I get to, to tell his story. You know, I'm incredibly, incredibly honored, and a little bit of that weight's been lifted off my shoulders now that, you know, his family has seen it and, and stuff like that, but, I mean, I, I can't begin to explain, you know, the shoes that I was filling. You know, somebody who is so much more than uh, an American hero, so much more than a black hero, He's really a world hero, so an incredible, incredible opportunity for me, for sure. And an incredible opportunity for the students. Part of the reason James visited was to see this mural, created by about 20 CSA students last year with the help of their art teacher, Danny Carver. Mr. Carver had us all do a little research project on him before we had the chance to work on the mural. He had us learn where he came from, what school he went to, what his life was like, what was time like when he was around. And he really wanted us to put ourselves in his position so that the emotion that we put into our daily art, it comes out into that mural so that it would be the best quality that we can have. And it paid off. After about four months, the project was complete. And out of a dozen student murals across the country representing the movie race, CSA's was voted the best. It was something that had to be done because I feel like Jesse Owens, his legacy, a lot of the kids really don't know about the history of what Jesse Owens really means to the city of Cleveland and all the trials and tribulations he had to go through back in 1936. And these kids don't realize that a lot of people had to do with racism, um, discrimination to really make a major difference in today's society and to let these kids you know find out who really made a part of their I would say freedom it kind of opened their eyes. But it's not the only Jesse Owens mural CMSD is proud of. The indoor track at East Tech High School also honors the sports legend, who got his start as a scarab before going on to win four gold medals in the 1936 Berlin Olympics. This is a, a, a plaque that I found from uh, Jesse Owens 
when he was in a, a, a high school student here. This is a plaque from 1932, the state championship team that he was on. East Tech actually won 13 state championships. And a few years later, another future Olympian emerged at East Tech, Harrison Dillard. Those legends still inspire students and the current athletic director, an East Tech grad who also ran track and coached the team in recent years. Being an athlete, every time we went to a track meet, you carried that knowing that you had to get out there and produce because anywhere you go in the state of Ohio and you have on an East Tech shirt, jersey or anything, the expectations were kind of high because of the legacy, legacy that Jesse Owens and Harrison Dillard left. And being the athletic director now, it actually gave me a chance to, sh to help out all of the sports. And all of the students. He invited another former East Tech track star, Aki Bradley, to speak at an assembly before the students attended a private advanced screening of the movie race, made possible by the organization Do More For Good and Focus Films. Because of the sacrifices that Jesse Owens and Harrison Dillard did, it opened doors for me to be able to come to school in East Tech and compete. If it wasn't for Jesse Owens, if it wasn't for Harrison Dillon, all of the pride and all of the history, the doors that they opened, that may not have been possible for me. My, my life would have probably taken another path. But because they did that, I was able to do what I did. And I will always be appreciative of it, always. And now students have a deeper appreciation too for both Jesse Owens and the actor Stefan James. I was at Tower City Cinemas for their reactions after seeing Race, and they were genuinely moved. It was awesome. Like everything about it, just how, how him coming from like a color standpoint and him having to go through all that was just amazing. And he just got to overcome all that. And I just felt so good in the end because he just overcome all the struggles that he had. It just inspires me to do great things. Like the way I'm going, they said I'm doing good, but I, I want to do better now. This is definitely the impact of Black History Month right here. I cried a little bit, it was amazing. Uh, it really made me realize that you can go forward and do what you want to do without people having to tell you what you can and can't do. And it was awesome. There was only one tiny critique from current student athletes at East Tech. They should have showed East Tech more. I think they should have put East Tech in it because that's where he came right, from. Yeah, I ain't see East and Tech. And he did. Man. He came from my neighborhood too. The movie caught my eye. I usually don't pay attention to movies that much, but that's like a that was a great movie. Now he's just showing on. Race is now open in theaters, and if you want to check out the mural, it's at the Lonnie Burton Rec Center on East 46th Street. For more stories like this, visit the CMSD News Bureau online at clevelandmetroschools.org news. Reporting from the CMSD TV studio, I'm Shannon Kantner.